Hey guys, welcome to day three of my 10 days of fall. Today's tutorial is on this little guy right here, this blue and copper stemless wine glass. I thought it just turned out really pretty. I love the copper. I love copper and blue together, especially for fall, but like just the way that it sparkles with like the all the different types of copper color I got going on here. I just, it's just, it's simple, but it's beautiful and I really love it, especially for fall. And I am doing a giveaway on the glitter and stuff that I used as well as the epoxy. So check out in the description box down below how to enter the giveaway. Don't forget to come back for day four tomorrow and let's get into the tutorial. So starting off with the stemless wine glass. This one came from Costco as a set of four for a pretty good price. Taking off the little rubber at the bottom, then prepping with Mattify. Now I'm gonna use the Wildflower Blue spray paint from Rust-Oleum. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Such a great color for fall. So just doing a full coverage on the cup. Taking this Rust-Oleum Aged Copper Spray Paint, I'm going to paint the bottom, but kind of angle it upwards so you get kind of that ombre effect, just slightly so that you kind of can see the little speckles, if that makes sense. Um, I just kind of wanted a little bit of this to be showing, but definitely still full coverage at the bottom. After that was dry, I'm taking some glitter glue and some rose gold foil flakes. Taking some glitter glue and just spreading it on with my finger. So we're wanting to almost cover up all of the spray paint, but not completely. Um, and especially not where it kind of fades up the sides. We definitely want a little bit of that to show through. So I took the foil flakes and I kind of just sprinkled them on. They're very like light and fluffy and they kind of want to float around in the air. This actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. It kind of stuck on there and then I just used my hand to kind of pat it down and stick it down. But it's not a complete full coverage. You can see a little bit of that copper paint peeking through. I just kept adding a little more. I wanted it to kind of go up a little bit further on the cup. I just love how much texture the foil flakes add to the look of things. It's not like a smooth shine, but it just gives it like a lot of reflective shine and texture in there. I let that dry, then we're going in with Addict's Chunky Glitter. And I did more glitter glue on top. This is gonna seal the foil flakes as well as get up us something for the glitter to stick to. So just kind of rubbing that on.
and I made sure to push the glitter glue up a little bit further because I definitely wanted a little bit of sparkle up onto the cup. So I'm sprinkling this very lightly. I do not want a full coverage of glitter. I don't want to cover up all of the foil flakes. I just kind of want to add a bunch of sparkle to it. So just sprinkling that on and then I slightly angle it and let it fall up the cup, but I'm still doing very gentle, very, very light. This could easily get way too much, way too quick. So just be very, very light handed when you're doing this part. But look at that sparkle. I just love it so much. So I just patted it down a little bit to kind of get rid of all the chunky ones sticking out. I let that dry and sealed with some spray paint. Then I did three layers of the Facet Epoxy. Then once that was done, just took it off, replaced the lid, and this was done. You could definitely add a decal to this. I just love the look by itself. I just think it's so beautiful. It's just very eye-catching, and the color combination is just so great for fall. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.